I'm here at Tatanka Story of the Bison in Deadwood, South Dakota. Some of the memorabilia from the movie Dances with Wolves is showcased here. Many South Dakotans got the chance to actually be in the film. And I caught up with one local sketch artist who turned his extra part in as an acting career. The summer of 1989 is when Jim Hatzel got the chance to be a part of South Dakota history to be in the movie Dances with Wolves. He was a sketch artist and 1880 train reenactor at the time when he got the call to be in the movie. You don't have to wait long to see one of Jim's parts as an extra. Here he plays a Civil War soldier on the Union side, dispensing coffee. He ended up playing several extra parts in the film and said that this role was the beginning of a new career. Oh, it was a hoot. It, uh, working on the film, uh, it was nothing I expected to do that summer. Uh, it just dropped into my lap and it was a hoot, it was fun. After the movie wrapped, he ended up working with Costner on three other films and has to date been in over 60 movies. Hatzel has many fond memories of the filming experience, like when he drew sketches of the other extras while on set. His sketches were also used to illustrate a book by Bill Markley called Dakota Epic, experiences of a reenactor during the filming of Dances with Wolves, a journal much like that of Lieutenant John Dunbar in the film. And more to come on the film Dances with Wolves as Lewis and I broadcast live from Pier tomorrow. Back to you.